Here's the moment. Here's the moment. Ooh, yes. That was a Thomas Kincaid right there. Briefcase is locked. There we go. Oh, there's something in this glove, though. Ooh, look at this. Order. Order alert. Order alert. There's no business like snow business. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, where's the envelopes full of money? Come on. Some of the other stuff was marked. Oh. Oh, whoa. What's in here? Is this something gross? Is this something dangerous? Like medical needles or something? I don't know. What the heck, guys? What the heck? Oh, yes. It's making my day, though, really. I'm just blown away right now. I'm, I'm super happy. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this 5x10 locker at the U-Haul storage auction. There's no telling what's inside with all the bags and boxes, but right in front was a wheelchair that I googled and discovered sells for over a thousand dollars. So I took the plunge and bought it for a hundred and fifty bucks. So far there's a lot of garbage inside including used medical supplies, stashes of human hair, and bags of paperwork and junk mail. But every so often I find a few goodies like bags of coins or a bit of costume jewelry. Let's pick up where we left off and get through the rest of the unit and see what surprises might be inside those remaining boxes. Spoiler alert, surprises coming. Hmm. That's nice, it looks like Prince's house. Some nice stuff. That'll go straight to the flea market right there. Ooh, what's this thing? That's a Thomas Kincaid right there. There's a Thomas Kincaid print, and it's 1998. It's called The Light of Peace. That's a nice print right there. It's actually very heavy paper. What else do we got? That's another Thomas Kincaid. Ooh, okay, that's pretty nice. There's another Thomas Kincaid. Lock Haven Cottage, year 2000. And Lock Haven Cottage, two of those. Wow, okay. Good thing I opened that tube. And The Light of the World. Another high quality print right there. That's really nice. 96 Thomas Kincaid copyright on that. Got some Thomas Kincaid prints. That's a little better right there. Those we might actually put into our live auction. Yes, indeedy. Okay, more bags of stuff. Ah. Okay, Christmas present for me. What did, what did I get? What did I get? Oh, some nice gloves. Apartment 9. In China, unfortunately, but it is leather. Very nice. Another penny. Another penny. Wow, look at this jacket. It's like the pink ladies right here. That's, that's kind of nice. It's vintage. I'll put that in the vintage market pile. about this stuff. There's some embroidery. Huh, there's a dress that has some nice embroidery work done on it. I don't know, that feels vintage. Right, nothing too exciting there. Mm, got a briefcase. Ooh, okay. What's in the briefcase? Uh-oh, briefcase is locked. Serious? Oh, that's got way more interesting now. Well, luckily, we found this little tool set right here. That means we got everything we need. All I need is a hammer.
There we go. Let's go this way. There we go. I love it when the locker has everything that we need. Boat tray in motion. Now then, what do we got? Binder. <laughs> With, oh, Zig Ziglar. That's good. Zig Ziglar tapes. Oh, there's a dime. Found money in briefcase. Found a Beanie Baby tag. That's funny. Yeah, an old wallet. Checkbooks. What do we got? Anything? Man, people, just, they just don't leave money in their wallets anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. More paperwork. That's, that's what we got in here. Why the heck did they lock that? Mm -mm. You don't need to lock it paperwork up. Trust me, nobody wants it. Gross. Garbage. Alright. It was exciting for about 32 seconds. Well, that one disappointed, but guess what? There's another one. There's another chance. Another chance. This one's got some weight to it. Looks like a fake crocodile print. I'm assuming it's fake. Oh, there's a penny found in Money in Briefcase, part two, <laughs> the sequel. This is just a big old bunch of junk. Okay, there's an empty box. Another embroidered piece here. Oh boy, that's, that's something. Bill Blass. Take it to the market. Let's tape that box. I think that's the first box we cut open today. I think. Oh, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Right. I hear people. That sucks. Alright. Yeah. That's good. Garbage bags. Locker nuts. Yes. That's a match. Wolfgang Puck, that's a good brand, but man, they scratched that up. That's why you're not supposed to use metal utensils on your uh, pots, right? Okay, let's get more curlers. Okay, nice little mirror for your counter, for your vanity. Empty thing of uh, scraps, okay. Empty. This is trash. <laughs> Richardson's, that's funny. On a Zig Ziglar book, that's good. Mac and cheese. Oh, look at that. We got a, a meal in a bag right here. Tuna, used by July of 20. It's a little past, but you know, I'll let the flea market figure out if they want to take a chance on that. Okay, look at that. Some elephants. A little carved wooden bowl. That's kind of nice, actually. Here's another little wooden bowl. That's a little travel iron thing. They probably stole it out of the hotel. Those cheeky monkeys. Look at that myrtle wood perfume. So it's meant to have like oils in there or something. And we've got some change. Oh, there's something in this glove though. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. The glove's holding some goodies in there. It held five pennies. That's more like it there. Okay, paper bag's good for the market. There's a random shoe. Oh, wow, look at this. Tons of food. May of 2020. Oh, boy. Right on there, guys. I know about expiration dates on foods. If it was my food, I wouldn't throw it away. There's another curling iron. 
here's a whole bunch of laundry detergent. And there's a Bible. Bring that to the market, of course, of course. More food. I don't know what that is. I don't care. Style and Company, more jeans. Yeah, just a bunch more clothes in here. Nothing too crazy. Dirty. 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 Alright. Suede and leather care kit. That'll sell at the market, I think. I don't know. Maybe not, but we'll try it. Oh, a 10, 6,000. Oh, these are good. These are those muscle stimulators. Yeah. This we'll put into our live auction for sure. Although I might test it first. I feel like my back could be loosened up a little bit. Wouldn't be bad necessarily for me. What's this? Okay, cards. Q-tips. <laughs> This says tens also. It's another tens kit, maybe. An ornament. Another little ornament. Nation's treasures. Yeah, this is another tens kit here. This is gross. Though. It's gross. It's all like sticky too. I don't know what she did to it, but we're gonna let that one go. Oh, this is good right here. Now, I saw that too in the beginning. I don't remember if I mentioned it, called it out, but there's some toilet paper. I don't find toilet paper that often in the units. I wish I could find all the toilet paper I needed in units, but it just didn't work that way. But uh oh, this box is super duper heavy. Oh, it says, I think it says books. That's not good. Why do they always put the books in the big boxes? I don't know how to pack. That's heavy. What do you think, guys? Have I seen my 150 bucks back? I think I have, but it's, I think it's going to depend on that wheelchair, really. Oh, that's weird. Box in a bag. Looks like almost like a present. Hmm. Stained glass piece. Piece, it says, right? Piece. Stained glass. It's actually kind of nice. There's another one. That's nice. Some sheets. Okay. Got some leather here. Terry Lewis. Classic luxuries. That's not bad. A leather jacket. There's another one. Leather. In China though. <laughs> no, that's not what we want. Okay, guys, that big box that was right here that said books, I went through that off camera, mainly because I loaded it first, because it's just so heavy, I didn't want to open it. I wanted to load it like it was. I loaded it on the truck, and then I opened it and went through it. There's not a single book in there. It was actually all paperwork. There's binders full of, like, medical, uh, like, documentation. Look at this, Easter basket stuff Jeez. what a waste what a waste yeah so I got that on the truck already and here's a little bit more clothes <laughs> so now I'm just trying to grab a few more things before oh, my battery runs out now I have to replace the battery but uh, what do you guys think is the best stuff in the back it happens sometimes should we just be holding on to <laughs> I don't think so. What's in here? What are you hiding in here? What is this? Bags and bags. And they're empty bottles. Empty pill bottles. No joke. Jeez. Order. Order. Order alert. Order alert. Man. <laughs> Okay, more clothes. These are like work clothes, I think. Oh, take it back. 
Say goodbye. All the way back. Here we got some athletics t-shirts. That's kind of nice. It's not vintage, but uh, actually they look like they're brand new. So that is kind of cool. I'll put that aside. That's some of the good, good stuff. What we got here? It's a vintage sweatshirt. There's no business like snow business. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That is vintage though. Vintage meaning 20 years or older. That is the definition that our vintage market uh, places. And that's a single stitch right here. Goodwill Games, huh? Alaska Airlines, Seattle 1990. That's a 31 year old shirt. All right, I don't think it's anything desirable. Oh, what's this though? Uh oh, what is this? That's a Space Jam shirt, obviously, but these are these are collectible. Someone cut the sleeves off, unfortunately, but Warner Brothers Space Jam. This is, I think, a highly collectible shirt right here. 1996, so they got 25 year old shirt right there. For some reason, I think Space Jam is uh, very desirable right now. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong, but I think that could be a good shirt. What else we got in here? U.S. Navy Blue Angels, 50 years. That's a 90, 1996. It's also 25 year old vintage shirt. And that looks like a single stitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Finally got some decent stuff. Looks like that's it, though. That's personal stuff. Paperwork. Mm. Oh, medical pictures. Oh, where's the envelopes full of money? Come on. Come on. Mm -mm, not here. Yeah, another boot. This is the fourth boot I found in here. Some more trash bags right here. Some more pillows. Right here. More of these like bags, you know. I mean, it's kind of fun to go through them. I, if there's a little better stuff. It'd be more fun, of course. But Katie Ma one. <laughs> there's Garfield to go in the window. Oh, that one's toasted though. Mm -mm, no chocolates. They keep the container though. So weird. Take it all out and we'll put it all back in. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Paper. Mm, so much paper. More paper. Okay, here's a very large purse. What is this? Joy Imon? Imon? Joy in Imon? Come on, no more paperwork. Man, this, people need to learn to throw their paperwork away. And their Kleenex, too. What's this? What is this? Oh, I thought it was sunglasses. Come on. Click bait. Click baiter. Alright, well, that's that. Okay. Go to the flea market. This is binders like this was what was in that big box that said books. You had a whole bunch of binders, and each of the binders had tons of paperwork in them. And this one's got paperwork. More of the same. Yep, 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 yep. yep. There's a Bible, a very old Bible. Let's see if it's got any hundred dollar bills. I'm telling you, one of these days, I'm gonna flip it and find that hundred dollar bill hiding in there. Not this time. Okay, some makeup. Pillow. Trash. Here. More trash. My goodness. Okay, this is another pillow. I can feel it. I don't need to open it. Any more socks. Jeez Louise. Okay, that box right there, it was open. And I pulled this out. I actually pulled another one out. It looked like a bowling bag and it was full of paperwork. Look at this bag. It's really heavy. I have a feeling it's paperwork, but let's find out. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm dealing with here. 
Look at this. Appointment books, mail, bills, old bills. This is a nightmare. Why do you keep so much paperwork? Well, maybe there's something better in this one. There wasn't in the last one. I went through it. Look at this. Ziploc bag's full of mail. This is very weird. It smells very musty, too. Oh my goodness, more film. Got more film. She kept so much film. Some of the other stuff was marked. Oh! Oh, whoa! Okay, I just I look like multiple bills, but there's a two dollar bill. What the heck? Dang it! Now I gotta go through this garbage. Oh, right, I'm not I'm not complaining. I just found two dollars. I'm not complaining. But yeah. Yeah. Man. Okay. There's another one. Probably more of the same. Let's see. Old checks. What the heck? The type of stink. Yep. Look at this. Keep all this paperwork. So bizarre. Look at this. Receipts. And they're like, it's taped, sealed. Why? Last one in that box. You know what? We're down to two boxes. All right. Almost done. I must say, I'm a little relieved. I kind of want to be done with this one, to be honest. It's not, not turning out the way I hoped it would. I hoped it had a little bit more goodies. Jeez, look at that. That's what people pay to store right here. Such a waste of money. Just throw it away. That's what a garbage can looks like, just in case anyone's keeping stuff like that and they're not familiar with the concept right here. That is where this should go. On a normal circumstances. Throw it away. Throw it away. This is my community service right now. <laughs> Educating people as to what a garbage can is. This one's got some weight to it. Bedroom, it says bedroom. That's good. Usually bedroom's good, because that's sometimes what jewelry is. That's looking a little different, isn't it? I mean, it's not really bright, because we're seeing lots of bags. Ooh, okay, what's this? Wilson's suede and leather made in Korea. Is this a fur jacket? Let's see. Yeah, dyed rabbit. That's rabbit fur right there. That's a beautiful, beautiful jacket. That's that is pretty dang beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know how you guys feel about fur, but in my opinion, yeah, I don't like killing animals for fur. I mean, obviously we do it when we wear leather, you know. But the cows didn't die just to make the clothing. That's a byproduct, right? But the fact that these rabbits died just basically to make this coat, I think it's a shame to not appreciate the coat. I don't know. I don't know. It's not for me. I don't like waste, right? There's another briefcase right here. I think it's probably paperwork. It's heavy. Jeez, look at this. Boxes full of bags, full of bags. Full of mostly junk. There's like empty bottles right here. Empty bottles, of, empty bottles. I'm not sure what those are. Oh, what's this? That might be a little bit of silver. I don't know. Well, something. I gotta, I gotta be careful and keep looking. Yeah, paperwork. Bird seed. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch more bird seed. Okay, I think I got enough bird seed. Okay. Paperwork. Oh my goodness, bag and a bag and a bag. And a bag in there. Why all the bagging? That makes me a little nervous. 
What's in here? Is this something gross? Is this something dangerous? Like medical needles or something? Why the four layers of bag? Every layer tied up like that too. Stupidness. It looks like medical stuff, but I don't know. There's. Mm. Uh oh. What the heck, guys? What the heck? I was about to toss this thing because I see the medical stuff. I see the rubber gloves, which makes me think sanitary. What is in here? What is in here? Okay. Oops. Personal photos. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. What the heck, guys? What the heck? Okay, this is one thing I love about hoarders. <gasps> I was about to throw this whole bag away because I was so, so nervous about it. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, there's a couple more. Okay. It's just a couple bucks and change right there. That's still good, though. Um, wow, wow, wow. All right, what do we got here? What's here? Okay, there's uh, some old pins, Athletics from 76 Station. There's a Kennedy half dollar there. A couple more pins, that's cool. A couple more metal pins. There's uh, Olympics right there. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's USA, Medical First Aid. Ooh, 96 Oakland Raiders. This is great stuff now. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, a little flip camera. <laughs> we find those from time to time. They're almost always broken. Uh, they just don't work anymore. Oh, a couple, a couple little cameras. Phone. There's nothing. Oh, a little SIM card wrapped up like that. Huh, okay. Okay, yeah, we gotta get to that, okay? We're still gonna get to that. Don't worry. Uh oh, look at this. Jeez, I was actually like saying, but half kidding, that maybe the best stuff was in the back, and I really wasn't kidding, right? What's this? <laughs> yes, I think that's something good right there. That's 14K. I can see that right there. 14K. All right, it is broken, but who cares? There's some scrap right there. 14K. 14K. It says peace and love. And you know what? I love that. <laughs> okay, what's this right here? Those are beautiful. Different backs again. Okay, that could be something too. Some little pearls on a chain that could be gold too. Oh my goodness. Oh man, guys. How do I get so lucky? How am I so lucky? I love my job. I love my job. A little bracelet there, some charms. This is good. Oh man, this might be with some little diamonds there. They really do look like it, and if so, that would be some gold too, no doubt. 10k gold, that says. Nice. Gotta go through every little nick and cranny now, because this is obviously where she kept the good stuff. I almost didn't dig in there too, I just got a feeling about it. There's a little, who knows what's on there. Could have been good, it could have been bad. Lucky for me, it turned out good. Oh, I see some good stuff in here. Oh, oh, no way. I think that says 14K. Oh, man. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. yes. I can hear someone down the hall there, so I'm not getting like super crazy. Oh, what? I think that's more gold. 
get out. Oh my goodness, guys. I think I have a loop in my truck. I'm going to go grab that right now. Okay. Luckily, I keep that in my car. Let's see. I really want to know about this one right here. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so this one says 925, so it's still silver. It's Vermeil, right? So it's going to be gold-plated silver, 925. But I was really hoping that was 14K, and I thought I, I, thought I read it. <laughs> okay, that one is 14K. So that's a little white gold band. Oof, nice. Okay, 14K. Let's see about this one. That one's 10K. This one's bent up. It's too bad because it has some pretty stones. That one's 10K. <laughs> oh man, there's a whole bunch more in here too. Okay, <laughs> this is funny. Mm, it's not nearly as interesting. Wow, wow. Is it, well, wow, I guess that is appropriate for this little bag right here. Yeah. This one's 925, alright, so silver. This is some coins, I think. Okay, quarters, fifteen dollars. Oh, some dollar coins. There's some Sacagawea and Susan B. Anthony. Okay. I don't know what this is. This is just glass, right? <laughs> I'll take this stuff out so we get a nice photo. Yeah, that's Mark 10K also. And it's clearly Mark 14K. <laughs> this 10k yay yay oh, these are 10k these are here are 10k right here it could be a diamond could be diamond in there i don't know it's 10k what was this again oh i don't know i didn't look at it yet okay that's avon i think that's just a uh, costume okay that's 14k this says 10k right there but that's 14k <laughs> oh my goodness 10k is making my day yeah when we get home we're gonna we're gonna weigh all this up and see how much we got that's just costume i think yes yeah, that's a costume piece i believe That's 14k, and it's missing a couple stones. That's okay, we don't mind. There's a 10k right there. <laughs> oh man. I was hoping that might be something, but I don't think it is. Hmm. I'll double check when we get home, but I'll put that in the costume pile for now. Oh, yes! Uh huh. Yep, that's some quarters. Quarters. Mixed change there. <laughs> okay, there's another quarter. Wow. Couple more. There's an older one. Wheat pin. Okay. Last bag here. Oh, what do we got? Oh, this is some better stuff here. What is that? That's something different. Hmm. I don't know, but there's some lots of dollar coins in here. That's something different too. Yeah, a lot of lot of dollar coins. There's some fifty centers. Seventy one. That's a silver. Ninety four. That's not. Wait, no. Seventy one. Is that silver? No, no, no. That's not silver. There's a seventy six Eisenhower dollar. All right. That's cool. <laughs> Look at all that. Wow. Good. Okay, the costume stuff go back and we'll take a closer look. But, wow, this is some good stuff here. There's hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of dollars here. Yes. Oh. Good, 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 good. All right, well, let's keep going. Maybe we'll find another bag as good as that one. I don't think so, but I'm hoping. Okay, there's junk mail in tinfoil. <laughs> Coffee and peanut butter. And more bills. 
so bizarre, right? I mean, in the middle of all this just garbage, we find that. <laughs> oh, man. It's making my day, though, really. I'm just blown away right now. I'm, I'm super happy. What's that? No, nah, it's from a package, elastic. Ooh, what's this? Parker pin? Ooh, I don't know. It says UPS. Yeah, I think it is a Parker pin. That's good. Okay. Giano. Watch. Oh, look at this. Looky, looky. What do we got here? Why are they wrapping it in paper towels? It's so weird. All right, that's sterling right there. That's an older ring. Sterling. Silver. Nice. We're not done with the precious yet. My precious. My precious. A lot of broken chains. It's okay. We'll scrap those. Especially when they're 14 karat. As that one is. Yeah. Jeez, there's a Bolova. Bolova. That's a 10K rolled gold. 10K rolled gold bol Bolova watch. That is pretty dang good, too. Could this be precious? I mean, everything else was. Nah, it's just costing, but still, it's nice. What else we got? He punched a hole in the water by the electric plug. He has gone to every neighbor's in my... What? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, man, guys. <laughs> uh oh Oh, please. Please, please, please. Oh, man, I looked at that one for a long time. Because I'm really hoping that's real. There's no markings on it. No markings that I could find. Man, that really does sparkle, though. It's got to be cubic zirconians. That is beautiful. There's still a chance it's, it is precious, but I do not hold my hopes very high. Well, dang, that's sterling right there. JB, sterling. <laughs> okay. Yeah, whoa, look at this. Okay, the pendant's 925. That is really pretty, too. Oh, my goodness. We're getting so lucky lately. I don't see any markings on these little guys, so I think those are probably cubic zirconians, but I don't know. All I know is this is this is pretty good. What else do we have? And look at this in a, a maxi pad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now this is interesting. That's been ripped open like something came out of there. Someone took something out of there. What do we got here? I think this is gold. It's got two earrings. I think these are pearls and gold. Necklace and matching earrings. Let me see. 14 karat. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. oh man, you guys. 14 karat. I'm going to put it back in here. I wanted to display it all nice, though, because I wanted to take a picture and send it to Jana. Korean Air. Hmm. Watch. I'm not sure if that's worth anything. I don't think this is precious, but it sure is pretty. Look at this side. It's got all these little Asian pic pictures on there. And this side is just solid. Ah, that is a really pretty piece. I'm going to put that right there. We're not done. Gross. There are hairs in there. Okay, more tapes. <sighs> Last straw behind my back. I even told him what happened. Oh man, was, somebody was in a bad relationship or something. Memo Master Alarm. Those is cool. Those sometimes have some value. We're still going. We're still going. Oh, look at that vest. Okay. I see bags and bags and bags, guys. Let's get our hopes up. Let's get our hopes up. Got a different feel to me. Still gotta go through. Oh god, more hair. Now yeah, this one is garbage, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything better in here. 
the water bottle. What the heck? Weird. And more of her hair. Wonderful. Gross. More hair. Dang, that's nasty. Look at this groovy leather vest right here. Yeah, that's pretty swinging. Well, I'm going to bring that to the vintage market. Not much more DVD, picture DVDs. Power cord, sunglasses, Taiwan. Eight gigabyte. Oh, these are are these spy glasses? There's the camera right there. What the heck? These are spy glasses. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to put that aside. That's that's just hilarious. Hilarious. And here's a locked, <laughs> a locked bag. Okay, guys, this briefcase. Eh, it's yeah. Look, it has got taped up here because it's all splitting. It's it's not it's not worth salvaging. So I'm just gonna cut the strap right here. This <laughs> it's leather. So <laughs> I almost felt like cheating. I should have worked harder on that. But uh, oh, come on, paperwork. Okay, I kind of figured it would be. Almost all the briefcases have been paperwork, or all the briefcases in the paperwork. This is the weird thing right here. Look at this. It's taped up. Man, I mean, I would love for that to be full of cash right there. I'm not gonna find out if it is, but it's not, it's just bills. Isn't that weird? People do weird stuff. They hide it away in the locker and hope no one ever finds out just how weird they are, but guess what I do find out? When I buy a locker, I find out almost everything about a person. <laughs> like, look at this, for example. Happy birthday, Daddy Lee. Tore up paperwork. Or not even paperwork, just torp. Oh my goodness, that's a birthday card. Ooh, someone had some anger. <laughs> Somebody been scowling. Hmm? Oh, there's more hair in there. And also a quarter. It was worth it. Okay, what's in the middle? More of the same. Dang. Alright, that one's a bust. Well, that was a good little run though, right? That was a good little run, and we have one more box to get to. Okay, I just drug this one out and cut it open. Forgot to turn the camera on. Let's see. But let's look in it. If there's anything good. Mm, some kind of... It says wireless gateway. It's a router. Is that got value? I don't know. Posters of what? San Francisco. Heavy bag right here. Mm, five paperwork. Let's see. Yep. This one's also heavy and that looks like paperwork to me. Oh. What's this? Yeah, just a little pin. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not paperwork. That's not paperwork. Okay, let's see this. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. No pennies in here. No pennies in there. All nickels and dimes, I think. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is so good. <laughs> All right, I thought we, I thought the fun was over, but this locker's still surprising us. And th this is the last bag, right? This is the last bag, so. INC. All right, that's actually kind of nice. It's a faux suede, I think. Yeah, polyester. All right, cool. That'll go to the market, though. All right, guys, so what do you think? Oh, yes. Let's just survey it one more time. Take it all in. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. All right, guys, here's one of my favorite parts, right? We're going to weigh up the gold. 
Okay, so empty bag there to zero it out. Okay, the bags weigh almost nothing. All right, so here's the 10K pieces. This isn't all the 10K gold, but this is some of it. One piece right there has some, looks like cubic zirconians or diamonds. I don't think they're diamonds, but um, that cross right there, it's got a missing stone, but we are adding some stone weight, weight there, but let's not worry too much about it. All right, 4.8 grams of 10K. That's not super huge. I'll put on the screen though what that's worth, scrap value that is. Just talking the scrap value. All right, 14K, quite a bit more here. Most of these chains in here are broken, so likely I will just scrap those. There's a white gold band here. That's kind of nice, but it's a small size. Let's see what we got here. 14K, 14K, 11 grams. That's not bad at all. All right, I'll put on the screen what that's worth as well. That's a pretty good score. That wasn't the only gold we found. These pieces also are gold, uh, but of course, like this right here, we got a lot of weight on those pearls. This is a 10K, a 10K chain, but the chain is broken, but I think a jeweler could fix that. And it's a sellable piece, very nice. Got a couple pairs of earrings here, and those are also 10K. I don't know if those are diamonds or not, but they're, they're nice. Could be diamonds, little ones, right? This is also 10K. I don't think those are diamonds because those would be really large diamonds. But this piece right here, this is really nice. This is 14K. Chain and matching earrings. It appears to be pearls, right? Look at that. That's really pretty. Very delicate. Very small. I didn't weigh this as the gold because uh, it's going to be mostly the weight of the pearls. The chain won't be too much weight on there, but it is a 14K. And then here's some of the silver. There's a little bit more silver than this too, but these are the nicer pieces. All of these pieces will be making it into our auction. That says sterling on it, nice little bracelet, okay. Uh, the ring, that says sterling. I think that's an older piece, very nice. This one also with some cubic zirconians, 925. And then this one right here, which is the vermeil. I think it's gold plated silver, and I think those look like emeralds. I don't know, what do you guys think? That looks like emeralds to me, but I'm not very good with this kind of stuff. And then we got this necklace. I think this is beautiful. This is also silver. Those have got to be cubic zirconians, right? Because that's that'd be massive, massive diamonds. That much diamonds would most likely be set in white gold, but this is silver, so I think it's cubic zirconian. That's a really, really, really nice pendant there. 9 to 5 chain as well. And then there's a few other pieces that are really nice too. This bracelet I think is beautiful. This Bolivar watch. Looks very old with the 10K rolled gold. And then this piece right here, which is not precious, but it's nice. And I think it is designer, it has a name on it. I forget what the name is, but anyways, it's a few other pieces too that are pretty nice. All right guys, so if you remember the wheelchair that I found the first thing, you know, what I bought the unit based on, we sold that very quickly for 220 bucks. It took only a couple days, listed it locally, and that was gone, that put us into profit. So everything that you've seen here, all this jewelry, all this gold, this is all pure profit. And then of course, all the change we found as well. This is this wound up being a pretty nice little unit. A lot of garbage, but a lot of good stuff too. All right guys, so what do you think? Was that fun? Oh, well, I had a blast. I love these little adventures where it like starts out like, ooh, I have high expectations. And then it takes you on the, eh, it's starting to look like all junk. And then it goes right at, like literally right at the end. And I, I was only half serious when I say, what do you think guys, the good stuff in the back? Yeah, sometimes it is, but usually not. Usually you get a feel on a unit and that's where, where it takes you the whole way. But this time was the ha like climatic ending, right? Gold, silver, maybe gem and lots of coins that was that was fun that was an adventure that was treasure hunting at its not best because i mean there's good money there but it's not like you know huge treasures but it's the thrill that is the thrill that's why we do it and uh that's what keeps me coming back for the next one speaking of the next one we did buy two on this day this one was 150 the other one was 1300 yeah so if you didn't see the auction video uh because i did go and peek around in that one a little bit that one looks good and we're going to take a look at that one in the next video i think i mean unless something comes up in the meantime but that's the plan the next one will be probably there uh but no matter where we are we're going to take you on adventure in the next episode which will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on... The guy had some kind of eBay store that did definitely sell golf clubs. Oh, good. Here's a six-foot table right here. Folding table. And there's more priority mailboxes. This ladder is nice. That's probably 50 bucks. Actually, that looks in great condition. That's definitely 50 bucks. We got some plush. Some plush dolls in there.